Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Friday, July 9th, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Phoenix Monitor today, we'll talk to Dave Denniston. He's a member of the U.S. Paralympic swim team. They just had a big meet in honor of Coach Jimmy Flowers, the former head coach of the Paralympic team. He passed away last year. And Dave Denniston joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Colorado Springs. Dave, welcome back to the show. How you been? I'm great. Thanks. Good to be here. How was the big meet? It was a lot of fun. Uh, kind of sad on some levels because of remembering Jimmy, but at the same time a success across the board in that we had just about every national team Paralympic athlete here on campus in Colorado Springs, and even a few American records and Pan American records were broke. So it was a fun meet. Well, that's great. Hey, yeah. We've heard that uh, you've been doing some of the coaching for the team. <clears throat> yeah, I uh, took over in February as the resident team coach, so I'm full-time here in Colorado Springs coaching the athletes that live here year-round. Um, right now we have six athletes, and ten more will be coming in in September, so I'll be coaching 16 uh, different athletes with different abilities and different ambitions and dreams, so it'll be fun. So, I mean, is that the same task that, that Jimmy had? Are you filling his shoes? And in a way, yes, he was up through Beijing. He was the resident team coach, and um, then he moved into national team director uh, right before he passed away. But the role that everybody knew that he had was the resident team coach, and I'm filling in some pretty big shoes with that role. Well, how do you like it? How do you like being I, on the other end of the deck? I love it. I don't have to get wet every day, which I appreciate. But the other part of it is these athletes are just phenomenal. They're a fun group to work with, and... The transition from being their teammate to their coach, they've made a very easy one. And so uh, we have a lot of fun every day, but we're also getting a lot faster and doing all the right things. So are you done swimming? I am done competing. I still swim because it helps loosen up my back, and I just enjoy being in the water. But in terms of competition, it would be way too hard for me to do both right now. So I, I love the coaching part of it, and I swim for my own fitness. Yeah. You know, you are a great swimmer. And oftentimes the, the great athlete doesn't transition to a great coach. I mean, what's, uh, what are you finding is the, the secret for you? Uh, mo I, th I think all the resources that I had and the fact that I swam under some of the best coaches in the world with David Marsh and Dave Salo, they taught me a lot. And another big key was all the video analysis and video work I did when I was working with Go Swim and Glenn Mills. I just learned a lot more about technique and training. Um, I still don't know everything, and fortunately, uh, Jimmy Flowers, in coaching the Paralympic athletes, kept a log of everything he did. So I use that as a reference on a regular basis to help me as I'm making this transition. And, of course, I'm going to make mistakes, but uh, I'm trying to do everything I can that I think the coaches that I've swam under would, would do in my situation. You know, we recently had uh, one of your swimmers or one of the members of the team there, Rudy Garcia Tolson, on the show. Yeah, the guy's, got, the guy's got some inspirational stories. I bet you hear that a lot. He, he's an inspiration to coach. Uh, he, one, he's an Iron Man, which is just baffling to me because he doesn't have any legs, really. And uh, one of the coolest things Rudy did was he got in the doghouse with me a little bit when I first started coaching, and uh, <laughs> he, he he knew it. And uh, he said, well, you can punish me any way you need to. And I said, Rudy, the biggest punishment I could give you was to kick you out of workout. And his eyes lit up, and he said, no, just give me a hard workout. Uh, so the next day, I gave him a 4,000 IM, and he wasn't allowed to break stroke in the butterfly. Oh. And he, he did it without legs, didn't break stroke once. I told him to swim 100 easy, he came back, and I said, your split on the 1,000 fly was 18 minutes and 22 seconds. Be under that for the 1,000 IM you're going to do on the top. And he went 1637. So... He's amazing. He's a phenomenal athlete and a lot of fun to coach. Oh, man. Do you do that to yeah. all your swimmers? No, uh, Rudy's <laughs> an exception, and because he pretty much asked for the punishment, I, I doled it out, but uh, <laughs> there, there's, he's a special person. And, uh, he's a little uh, crazy. Have, he's a little crazy, I think. He is, but <laughs> crazy fun. It, and it's amazing. That's what I realize now as a coach is that the athletes that are willing to do anything – are the most fun to coach. The ones that listen to you and trust you, those are the ones that are enjoy to work with. Well, uh, who should we look out for as we lead up to 2012? You got any, uh, any ringers over there? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, Lance Lambach, uh, who actually broke a world record in the 100 backstroke in Beijing, has just broke three American records last week up in Canada and two Pan American records. And he's a phenomenal freestyler backstroker. Uh, we also have some young girls coming up in uh, Amanda Everlove, uh, Susan Best Scott, and uh, just amazing athletes top to bottom. Uh, and, of course, Rudy will always be somebody to watch just because he's, he's Rudy. Well, Dave, it was great to catch up with you. We're happy to hear that you've made that uh, transition from swimmer to coach, and good luck with it. I love it. Thank you, guys, and any, you know, I appreciate all the support and, and video footage and feedback you've given for us because the sport really is starting to grow in the U.S., so thank you for everything you guys do. Great. We're happy to do it. Nice to talk to you, Dave. Thanks, Peter. Have a all good right. one. That's Dave Denniston joining us in the Phoenix Monitor. That's it for the show today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.